I have transformed it to the ultimate fish catching machine, guys. We've always caught a ton, a ton of fish with this little net here. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh yeah, we got fish in there. Wow, we have an absolute ton of fish. Oh yeah, give me the net, give me the net. He's swimming down there. No way. What's happening today, Fish Guys? Hope all you guys are enjoying your beautiful Friday. It's Fish Guy Friday today. Uh. It is Fish Guy Friday. There's no other, there's no better day than Fish Guy Friday, okay? Now listen, here's the thing. I know I've mentioned a lot that I can't film over here, but so I'm gonna show you guys right now what technical difficulties looks like. And don't be alarmed, don't be alarmed. We are on it and you should be getting the video next week. We are on it like Donkey Kong. This whole weekend is gonna be grinding for you guys, but here's what technical difficulties looks like. Here comes the sun, so don't be alarmed if I turn into a ghost here. Oh my god, it's bright. So as you guys can see, the garage is completely empty right now because we had a serious problem with our giant pond, but we're getting it fixed literally today. We are grinding today, all weekend, to get this thing up for you because we want that video on the main channel, Varzalzen, to go out next week. So everyone turn your notification bells on and subscribe because you're not going to want to miss. I'm telling you it's going to be phenomenal. We wanted to make it make sure it was perfect. That's why we scrapped it and restarted. We wanted to make sure it was perfect. So don't worry, we're going to be working all weekend for you guys to get this video up and running because it's going to blow your socks off, baby. It's going to be so epic. That's why I keep hyping it up because it's going to be awesome. We're, the amount of cool fish we're going to be able to have, have in here, it, it's going to be insane. So that's why we decided, you know what? Let's remove our technical difficulty, our problem that we're having, and get a new one, and then we'll set it up. So today we're gonna be grinding me, Jack, and Brooke, and this afternoon we're gonna be setting the whole thing up for you guys. And then next week, hopefully, that video will come out because I'm stoked to show you guys. But today, we are gonna have a good one. Man, I hope you guys know that when you get a little backyard, little dock, shark dock edit there, that you know it's gonna be a good video because today it's gonna be a good one. We are hunting fish with the belly hoop today. I saw a lot of likes and comments on my last video about the belly hoop that I gotta try it again and that's what I'm gonna do today. And I know this is pretty much the only way, the best way you're gonna catch those lionfish that are under my dock. And I know there's lionfish under my dock. Every time I look under there, I always feel like I see some lionfish sitting under that log that's right underneath my dock. And it's just perfect prime time, sneaky sniper style with the ballyhoop net. Look, Forrest is in the ballyhoop net. Forrest, I'm not trying to catch you, bro. This guy's crazy, man. This guy's crazy. He's He, he wants to catch a lionfish, that's for sure. Now, because it is the morning, it's about 8 a.m. right now, I wanted to do this video in the morning because I wanted to throw this a little bit. You know how I mentioned, uh, a couple months ago in my videos that I need to catch something on one of these for you guys. So I'm gonna give that a try while we're dropping the ballyhoop net. We're doing all of it today. I want this video to be a banger for you guys. I want it to be enjoyable and have a good time. So I'm gonna try to catch as many fish as possible. Once again, this is not a guarantee. So we're gonna give it a tr we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see if we can see a jack swim by, a big jack, because I've been seeing them a lot because of my bait pen. Surprisingly, guys, my bait pen has attracted a ton of fish to my dock. Because I'm keeping big baits here all the time, all those vibrations get sent through the water and big fish come to those vibrations to check it out and there's always a bunch of big jacks it is really low tide here which is really good for our value but i'm not too sure about the jack so we're gonna give it a shot now for the new people who don't know this is a ballyhoop net you're supposed to use it to catch ballyhoo and it works really well it's a very effective to catching ballyhoo which is right here these little guys they're really good for bait offshore bottom fishing bait or keeping them in the flat line to catch those big kang fish but i have transformed it a couple plants flying by but I have transformed it from just a bally hoop net for strictly bally hoop. I have transformed it to the ultimate aquarium fish catching machine, guys. We've used this at the ocean, at the inlet. We've always caught a ton, a ton of fish with this little net here. It's, it's actually genius because the net becomes invisible in the water and the fish do not see it. So we're gonna drop this thing down just to get it fermenting in there. We might drop it a couple times because I am looking for a really cool fish to show you guys. I'm looking to catch something cool. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this can catch a lot of different different kinds of fish. So we're gonna drop it down, let it sit for a while while I try to catch that big jack. All right, now I'm gonna set this thing right by my bait pen because, you know, that's where the fish like to hang out. Okay, the sneaky belly hoop net is all set. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the top. So here it is right here. As you can see, the net is laying down like that on the floor. 
and as fish swim over it, as I throw shrimp and bread over top of it, all the fish will swim over it, and then I pull it up really quick, and that is how you catch the cool fish, okay? That's what we're doing today, baby. We're catching fish with the ballyhoop net. Now listen, I put them right by my bait pen, so hopefully that attracts even more fish, because I'm dying to get something good for you guys. I'm dying. Now to the human eye, to our eye, it looks like the net is just sitting in the water, but to the fish, that monofilament mesh net disappears fully for the fish. They can't see a thing, so we're gonna sneak attack them like a ninja. Now I'm gonna start with some of the smaller fish's favorite meal. Good old classic carbs, dude. They're on a carb diet here, okay? They're not on the car, some of them are on the carnivore diet, but I prefer the high carb diet. And that's what they're. That's what we're gonna use today for some of the smaller kind of aquarium fish. And then we're gonna use some shrimp for those bigger fish. So let's just see what happens when we toss in some bread. Cause I know it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like a swarm guys. It's gonna be like a freaking, it's gonna be like a hornet's nest, man. They're gonna go crazy. All right, now I'm gonna toss this bread right on top, right on top of the ballyhoop net here. I'm gonna get some pieces to sink to the bottom because that's when the fish go over top of it and then have some of them floating. Just chumming it up here, baby. Chumming it up good. I already see a bunch of puffers going by. Now, as you guys can see right here, the puffer fish are already coming out of the woodworks right over top of that net. They're a little skeptical of it still. That's why you have to let that net just sit there and ferment. I already see a puffer fish actually right over my net, but I'm not gonna pull it yet because you see this fish right here on the outskirts of the net right here, that little one sitting in that little sand pocket. I'm gonna try to get him to come into the net and, and catch him because I don't know what that is actually. I literally don't know what that is. That could actually be a lime fish, who knows? So that one's sitting in the brush there, that's our target right now. I'm gonna wait to see if he swims over that net. And if he does, I'm pulling this thing up. Let's give this thing time to ferment. Now, as we call all that fish with the bread, I'm gonna call some bigger fish with these little vibrations here and that little sound. Hopefully we can get something good for you guys. One of these days, I promise you, I'm gonna set the camera up here. Like, just like before, I'm gonna set the camera up right here and one of these days, I'm, I will catch a giant with you guys while I'm recording. That's my goal. I know I caught one on the phone the, other, the last time, but it wasn't high enough quality for me. I gotta get one on the camera for you guys. So we're gonna give this thing a couple shots. I had one, dude, I had one. All right, a couple casts, no bites on the little rattler here, but we're gonna keep giving it a try throughout the video because uh, maybe there's just no jacks around. I'm still trying to find the perfect lure that gets the most bites. So we're trying this one. I haven't used this one before. So we're gonna try it and see if it gets bites still, but we're still on the hunt. This is a ongoing series. We are still on the hunt. See, the puffers are over there, right away from the net. They, they go for the ones that drift away. So we're still trying to get them over top of this thing, but I do see some fish swimming on the left side of this net here that I could pull up and get right now. There's like 25 pufferfish down there now just eating all the bread. All right, I think it's time to pull up our first ballyhoop hoop attempt. Let's do it. So the key with this trap is to be really quick but stealthy at the same time. So I'm just gonna slowly grab the net and then I'm gonna pull up as fast as I can. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh yeah, we got fish in there. Wow, we have an absolute ton of of fish. And let me show you guys right here, perfect example of why you could get the little fish with the little bread. These guys right here are awesome. These are the same guys I caught in my last trap video. These are the glass minnows, and these are absolutely perfect to feed my baby groupers. So we're gonna keep him in the bucket. Look at all those dudes at the bottom one. There's so many. That's why I love this fish trap, guys. That's why I love this fish trap, because you you literally catch so many fish. So they're all sitting right now at the bottom of that trap right there, right at the end. Look, there's like five of them. Oh my God, there's so many puffer fish down there. I caught at least four puffer fish. I caught at least four, guys. All right, I'm gonna bring this net up. I'm gonna show you guys all the fish I caught. And this is only drop number one. This is only drop number one. This is only bread. When we use shrimp, it's gonna be 10 times better. Wow, I caught so many, guys. Let's go. There's so many in there. Wow, that did really, really well for just bread. Now that one trap with bread caught me about, I don't know, 15 fish, and that was just bread. Let's go. So look at these guys in here. I caught a bunch of glass minnows. Look at all these glass minnows swimming around. Those are perfect. I always add those to my aquariums. I always add those to my pond and my tank because my groupers love them, dude. It just gives them meals 24 seven so they can feed whenever they want. It's literally the best. And we caught four puffer fish. The puffers are literally running rampant. It's like a plague here. The puffer fish at my dock are insane. Look, they're talking to me right now. They're talking to me. Let's show you guys. This is the smallest one I caught. Look at that little dude. He's really, really cool. This is just like Pepe the puffer. Really cool colors on him. That, my friends, is a puffer fish. See, I would put you in my aquarium, 
but I already have Pepe the Pufferfish, so you're not good enough, man. Pepe is the goat. But look at that little dude. Caught four of these guys. See you, buddy. Now let's get the biggest one out of the bunch, which is right here. This is the big hog of the bunch. Look at that hog. That's a good one. Look at that puffer, dude. It's with just literally bread and a ballyhoop net. That's all you need to catch fish. But we're hunting for something cooler, so we're gonna use that shrimp, and I think it's gonna take us to the next level. So look at that dude. That is a cool puffer. See you, buddy. We got two more puffers in here. This one's pretty big as well. Look at the size of that guy. Look at the pattern on him. Get him in a little sunlight here. Oh, the ultimate puffer fish. And then we got medium sized, which uh, is also cool. We got all, we got small, medium, and large. What a catch for the first value hoop round. See you, buddy. And when it comes to the value hoop net, the smaller fish do tend to get stuck sometimes in the net and that will kill them. So this one right here, look at the colors on this one though. Look at that guy right there. That is, he's like so bright, the camera doesn't even focus on him. That is a cool little glass minnow here. Perfect for feeding my fish. That's why I am so grateful that I live on this amazing canal because I have free food for my fish all day long. Just catch these guys, feed them everything, feed them to everything and everything loves to eat these guys. So I'm going to throw back the ones that aren't doing strong right now. And then the ones that are lively, I'm going to put in my tank. Now, as you can see right here, I just threw in one of the glass minnows I caught into my into my 55 gallon saltwater aquarium. And as you can see, the pompanos already are going after it. And the grouper comes out of nowhere and smokes it at the end there. He just came out and it took about two minutes for him to get comfortable with me right there with the camera. And he smoked that glass minnow. So that's what I'm telling you guys. It is perfect for me to catch these guys because I can feed my tanks with them 24 seven all day because they absolutely love them. Now we're going to drop down that valley hoop but this time with some shrimp. Hopefully we can catch something even cooler. All right, take two on the valley hoop, this time with shrimp. I can almost guarantee because of the shrimp, we are gonna catch something even better because not everything will eat bread, but everything will eat shrimp. So let's toss this thing in. I'm gonna toss it a little bit farther out. Let's see if we can catch something even cooler, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be a killer. That's gonna be a good one, perfect. I'm gonna leave it right there. Best thing about that one is that it's right in the sunlight, so we're gonna be able to see whatever swims in there. All right guys, I let this one sit for a really long time, and I think it's time to pull it up. Guys, right where I just cast it, I see a floating plastic bottle. That is not okay. Guys, 2,000 likes on this video, and I will go back around my canal, just like I did that one time with Fish Guy Hack, right here. And I will find fish in some trash again and clean up this goddamn canal because it needs to be cleaned. Every day, it needs to be cleaned. I always find bottles in here and guess what? The fish guys, we always clean it up. Always. Guys, my last video, I asked you guys a question which your favorite fish was. I got a bunch of great responses and I'm uh, I'm thinking I might get some of these fish for you guys. We got we got Joey's baby arapaima. That's his favorite fish. We got Michael's beta fish named Steve. That's a great beta fish name. And we got MLG's clown, clown trigger. Okay, those are great. I just picked those comments randomly. Three favorite fish of you guys. Those are great fish. You might have to get a clown trigger for this channel. In my pond, that would be fantastic. Now, another question for you guys today. I'm going to ask you a question in every video. What is your favorite type of video that I post? Because I'm going to read through the comments, see which one gets the most likes, and then I will recreate that video again for you guys. So comment down below, what is your favorite video from Fish Guy Chris? Let's pull this check and trap. All right, here we go. I let this one sit for a really long time with shrimp on the bottom of it, which was good. Okay. I, I got to, just like last time, I got to bring it down here to see what's in there. Oh, Brooke, give me the net. Oh my god, give me the net, give me the net. He's swimming down there. No way. Look at this guy. Can you see him in the water? Brooke, look at him. You see him right there. He is in the bottom of this net. I'm gonna net him out since it's easier. He's in here. He's in this, I'm telling you. He's in all that gook. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. You see him, look, look at him right there. Look at him right there. Okay, we are getting him out of this environment, out from under my dock. He, was, he will not be allowed to stay here. You are being relocated, my friend. Look at him, he's going underneath the sargasm. Guys, this thing is so small. I wish I could pick him up and show you. I cannot believe we got another one. I could literally do that all day long and catch probably 50 of these guys. Literally 50 of these guys. Look, as you can see, he's already, he's still staying inside that weed. That's clearly where he, he's been hanging out. We are definitely not releasing this guy back in the water. Never release a lionfish. I have a perfect spot for him. I think we should put them in my tank. Let's do it. Guys, we caught a hundred different kinds of fish today. We caught some glass minnows. We caught like four puffer fish at once. And then look at, this guy's really cool. He, I can't even see him anymore in here. He's just all hiding up in that weed. Oh yeah, there he is, there he is. I'm gonna get him in the tank quick. Look how cool this guy is. This guy is so weird. He's so small, look at him. He's tiny. Now guys, never touch lionfish. You go right to the hospital if you touch him. Careful. Look at this, look at this, he's gonna swim out. Go that way, buddy. Look how cool he is. 
Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, this tank is actually perfect, dude. It's coming along. I started with the horrible freshwater tank. We got rid of it. I got my damsels. I got my pompanos. I got my blue line grouper. And now I got this little lion fish that I caught. And this tank is really coming along. I'm telling you, this is this might be better right now than the saltwater pond, the mini saltwater pond. But we're going to get both looking grade A, A+. Plus. I think we got to roll that clip. Enjoy that one. If you haven't seen this video right here, go click it, watch it. It's a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.